Hey, it's your buddy Peace and Harmony with you here today. The female psychopath, the female narcissist, who do they target? The female psychopath and the female narcissist have a hidden agenda when they're going out and looking for a male to basically prey on. It's been described by Dr. Robert Hare that the psychopath is an interspecies predator. And what this means is it basically is going to spell out some danger for you. Uh, they, the psychopaths, um, by virtue of their uh, physiological differences between the normal uh, healthy brain, is that they're lacking in certain emotional centers uh, that cause them to detach from emotional meaning in certain words. So they register um, experiences a little bit differently. They are very prone to forget um, their emotional memory, so they can easily um, get into a relationship with someone and not feel very tied or very loyal to it, so they can move from partner to partner very quickly without having uh, that typical female kind of bonding that takes place between most females and a male partner. Most females don't want to spread themselves around because of that nurturing tendency, that desire to foster and nurture a relationship, which means take care of it and let it grow, and um, more uh, caring and sensitive in nature. Now, the psychopathic female, they might present a mask, which means a persona that they are this way, but they've learned to be very adept at moving this mask around. So if that is, they, and they, they tend to target people within different levels and different stratagem of society according to what it is that they want. So, and they can put on a mask for one gentleman, take that off, put on another mask for another gentleman and take that off, all depending on who they're with. So uh, the psychopathic female, for example, approaching a very urban, uh, type of guy uh, with money um, into the arts culture, you know, into intellectual cultural pursuits. She might put on a mask for that type of guy, but she can just as easily put on another mask for a guy who's, you know, driving a Harley, who's got like, you know, a three foot braid down his back and is wearing leather chaps and a leather vest and is all tattooed up. And she can easily be with these types of people on the same day and you know to such an equal amount of attachment so they might be looking for thrill and the open country ride for just that bad girl supply or you know that bad girl bad guy supply from this one relationship and then she might more looking for a more urbane sort of wine and dine we're going to the theater we're going to the art gallery sort of uh, experience with this other gentleman and it's really amazing um, that the psychopath can have a number of these types of relationships cycling um, for months and years simultaneously. Their ability to vacillate between various relationships is quite incredible. So who do they target? Um, they are going to target, um, they are going to prey on and seek to uh, satisfy with supply specific types of men who possess the qualities that they're looking for that would satisfy them. It can be money, it can be a house, it can be uh, the fact <laughs> that they, wow, close collision there. Um, they can, um, you know, maybe they, they, you know, they might like this one guy with a farm, uh, you know, for kind of their nature exploits. Um, they might, you know, pick up um, another type of guy for the money or his contacts and work within his circles. So they're, they're basically going to target people who they feel that they can easily manipulate. And they're able to read men very well, meaning that they can, uh, they, they can see who's going to really be able to provide them. Who is, you know, who is a lonely guy? Who is... Uh, you know, who maybe is recently divorced? Who's the guy on the rebound? I mean, your typical relationships that they're going to uh, prey on are very, you know, those are very easy targets, low-hanging fruit for them. 
now there's going to be other relationships that they might, you know, they, they can identify right away. In fact, a lot of these people, they can see a room and they'll know a target, you know, within a few moments. They're able to pick these people out. It's almost like infrared vision or infrared vision. They can read a room very quickly. Um, that is not an ability I have. I'm not looking to prey on, you know, and pick out a, a target, but they are very adept at this. So um, try to pay attention to when they first uh, targeted you, if you're in relationship with them, and see if you can identify some of the red flags because now that you've been um, in a relationship with this type of person, you want to find a way for you to identify these qualities. And you can look at some of the videos here um, on this channel for how to identify some of the red flags of, of the psychopath. But, you know, look to um, protect yourself and so that you're not futurely uh, identified in the future, but more so, you know, identify who that they target so you can keep your guard up. And I'm also going to go in future videos how to really heal from this specific, very uh, hideous type of uh, interspecies predator, as Dr. Robert Hare would say. Definitely would recommend uh, becoming knowledgeable about this and don't uh, this type of personality, and you know, don't let it dishearten you. Um, you know, it's going to be a lesson learned, and it's definitely going to make you a stronger, better person. You know, and once you get through this. But they're going to target people who, you know, have um, like an opening uh, to them. In other words, they're going to see that this person has a, a, a need that's unmet. They're going to see that this person has a void in their life, and they're going to try to play into that need and exploit it, blow it up, blow it out, and help you basically fulfill that need, but then, you know, really to help satisfy their ends with it and generally stock up their source of supply which is going to be this huge pile leaving you with very little in the end and they usually do it with a pre-calculated sense of leaving you in ruins it's just how these people operate for some reason they delight in overthrowing men um, and you know uh, taking control over them physically emotionally uh, financially and then just leaving them in tatters so that's a little bit um, on how they target people. More in for future videos, um, what to do once you've exposed them, how to get resources together, and protect yourself and heal moving forward. Peace and harmony with you here today. Please share and subscribe for more great tools, videos, support, and discussion.